Today on Jaren Jeff Eat New S, something for the meat eaters. Should we tell them it's full basket? Uh. Hi, um, my name is Victor uh, Butcher. I'm uh, owner and uh, head butcher of Full Basket Butcher Store. We are uh, target specifically also New West because it, New West is such a community. And um, after all, uh, we open the doors and we start sharing our authentic spirit. Yeah. We start sharing uh, something what we've been done all these years. Uh, through so the fast. It's a family shop. Who works, here? Who works here? It's absolute 100% family business. So if you hear from other places, oh, it's family business and you never see family, here you are only going to see family. It's my brother Lev, uh, my mom uh, Ellie, my dad Patro, it's me Victor, and my wife Morgan, who is actually uh, uh, just on a maternity leave right now. Yeah. <laughs> but she will come back and she'll be here too. Because you and your family started a butcher shop, um, it was always the plan. Um, wh why a butcher shop? Well. Um, it was not always the plan, actually. The, the plan was uh, to, uh, to make uh, a family business, and then we started brainstorming and thinking about uh, what, uh, what actually could be a family business. And the most important, which comes to our mind, and which we actually were sitting on the dinner table, we were eating food, and we were like, we love food, and we love meat. We were having you know, bacon sausages on the table with the salad, we were wrapping this up, and uh, we were just like, why won't we continue with food? And uh, growing up on the farms, uh, loving animals and loving, loving a good quality cut of a uh, piece of meat, we decided that we'll go into the butchery. Mm -hmm. Something we'll be, be doing in heritage with the family for many, many, many years. Yeah. Give us a bit of a tour. If someone's never been in here before, um, show us maybe a few things that you're excited about, uh, kind of how you got it organized, um, and I'll let you kind of yeah, point us in the right direction. Yeah, that sounds good, Jeremy, absolutely. Um, why don't we start with, uh, right over here, um, um, we have lamb, uh, which is coming from Salt Spring Island. Um, sometimes when we have um, um, fresh uh, air cargo shipment from New Zealand, I will buy it because it's stunning, stunning, stunning lamb. Wow. Um, after the lamb, you will see a little bit of pork over here. Well, not a little, but a huge section. <laughs> it's all local, it's all Chilliwack, it's all coming from absolutely fantastic farm which I personally see in my eyes and those pigs was super happy. Yeah. The bacon is one of the gems of the bacon here. It's honey jalapeno bacon which is gives you a little bit of kick but at the same time it doesn't burn a mouth. Mm -hmm. same, um, bar, same farms doing uh, same farm. all three yeah, varieties? Same farms yeah. doing all the three of them. Uh, there is actually one of which is secret farm bacon which is coming from the separate farms. They only do that and their actual name of the farm is secret farm. Okay. It's really really cool. Uh, moving towards uh, um, uh, beef over here. You have uh, beef which is coming from uh, Alberta. Uh, there is a, a three farms which is supplying it for. Sometimes we take in local beef too. Um, it's fully grass fed. Okay. Uh, it's sustainable AAA uh, beef. Uh, so from um, Alberta? Alberta yep. beef. Um, it's never disappoint. Uh, it's always give you the consistency. <laughs> and we truly believe in Canadian beef. I'm, yeah. I'm sure it's. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't say that BC is not great beef. It's absolutely also great beef. Not as good as Alberta. I find it a little bit, a little bit better on taste wise, the Alberta okay. stuff. And then, you know, moving forward from uh, chicken, uh, which is very, very also popular, um, Chilliwack. Chilliwack, Abbotsford, and Landley. Three farms, three different farms. They all are doing a fantastic job, depending on the fresh availability we're taking it. How, how many and, chickens uh, do you bring in? Um, we butcher about from, from 15 up to 30 hats every wow. day. Yeah. And they're all day, happy so. chickens. Oh, big time. Yeah. They're all happy birds, just like that one over there in the back. And then we do put some seasoning on the chicken too. My wife is a pastry chef, so she yeah. makes spices in-house. Yeah. Uh, however, everything and, what you see. And, and yeah, homemade cookies okay. too. Yes, absolutely. I can attest that those are amazing. <laughs> Um, and the marinades are, are great. And you guys switch it up too. You we got... keep, yeah, we keep rotation. About 10 different flavors. So we keep rotation depending on the season, depending on the people's fla um, favorites. Um, some people like uh, consistent same thing all over again. 
Um, however, chicken is uh, juicy, it's tender, uh, as I said, it's local, um, nothing beats it, it's, uh, it's fantastic. Um, we do bring some pepperoni sticks like venison mm -hmm. and bison, which is kind of exotic. Um, mm -hmm. Those are coming from Richmond. Okay. Um, one day we'll start making our own, however, this one is really, really authentic product because it's eh, tough to find like a venison or bison, especially in the pepperoni sticks. Yeah. And that's something what people ask, so we brought, brought okay. it over. Uh, then you have a little bit of section of the house-made products like clam sausages. We do our own legendary Ukrainian pork sausage, which yeah. a lot of people are familiar with. And of course, organic and free-range eggs from Abbotsford. Um, those are the best which I can find. Yeah. There is a, yeah, um, a beautiful right. large eggs with the uh, orange yolk of free-range and mm. the yellow yolk yeah. or organic stuff. Um, been on the farm multiple times. Yeah, I ate four of those this, this morning. Okay, so one thing I noticed, uh, while we were here, a few people came in and they were asking you like, oh, I'm making a roast, what do I do? What's the, like, is that a pretty common part of when people come into the butcher shop? They want, they want tips. What, what are some of the like more common things that you end up getting asked about and uh, and and essentially what I guess what I'm looking for is what are the best tips? It is happening every day. Every day we open seven days a week, so every day people asking questions. And yes, unfortunately, uh, the knowledge of the cooking it's not for everyone. You know, just because I work at the restaurant, uh, that uh, knowledge came. However, um, um, everybody can cook. Everybody, absolutely, guys. You just, just you know, just take your hands and just start doing it. It's, it's not rocket science. It's, it just you will become the hobby and habit for you. However, keep in your mind there is a food safety there, right? So um, something what is very, very important. A lot of people doesn't think about it, but one degree uh, in your fridge, uh, in your refrigerator at home, if it's above a normal temperature, which is normal temperature between zero to four in Celsius. Um, so one degree too hot. One degree it's too hot. Your shelf life and your bacteria are growing twice faster, which means that your product will bed twice faster. Uh, and it, it's significant. Yeah. It's big. And the other tips which I also could, uh, could give to the people, um, trust, uh, trust your smell, trust your taste. Uh, the simple way you can uh, find out how good is the um, chicken or beef or, or um, any of the, or, or pork. Take bones, take the cheapest product, right? Like you don't have to buy something very expensive. Put it in a pot, boil it, smell it. Should smell like wonderful broth. It should not throw you off. It should not make you feel uncomfortable. It should not be funky. It should be, it should be really, it should be yeah. good, right? If it does smell like nothing, because I had a lot of people who came by and bought the chicken bones and they go, wow, such a difference. Yeah. Just. Like, you know, my, my house never smelled that good. Yeah. And, and then you, you start explaining to them that there is a simple reason. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just the quality of the product. And, um, and, and, and you, now you know it, you realize it. Um, beside that, um, guys, just uh, eat the good stuff. Yeah, don't, uh, you know, there's a lot of ways to save, mo to save money. You can save money on, 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 on a new iPhone, you can save money on a new laptop. But uh, I would always go for the best bacon and best steak in town, no matter what, no, no matter where I would go. And where, where is the down. best bacon and steak in town? Um, hard to say, you know what? <laughs> I got to say that we are local, right? We all support and, you know, I gotta have to show respect to, uh, I don't consider them competitors, but uh, there's a Queen's Park guy yeah. who's doing a fantastic job too. Yeah, they're a great and butcher shop We too. always, yeah, we always support each other and, you know, if something we don't have, we would always say, uh, send people there. And um, same, we would uh, always, give a good word because we're the only two in, in town actually. If you yeah. think about it, in U.S. there is no other butchers, right? There's yeah, only two butchers lot. table closed and yeah. Nothing. Yeah, pretty much yeah. it. And you know, it's a... It's kind of a lost art, huh? It is, it is. And, and, and it's kind of sad. However, um, I, I feel like you, it will start uh, picking up again. Um, just because uh, the um, uh, people start um, getting more knowledge about it. I, I have a question for you. So if, if, you, if somebody's watching this, and they always get their meat from Safeway or whatever mm. grocery store, and they're not really sure like why they should go to a butcher shop instead. Like, what would you boil that? Like, what is, what's the difference? Like, what would you tell someone who was like, well, why why should I do that rather than just buy my meat where all the groceries are, like my one stop shop yep. versus coming coming here? And like, what what makes it different? So, um, in all perspective, I think that. Um, um, 
everybody looking for better stuff. Mm -hmm. Everybody looking, you know, you you want to wear better clothes, you want to have a better haircut, you want to make better like money. Haircut? You want to make better money. You want to say anything? I, I can't even see it even too. Um, but um, uh, simply. Um, Butchers, and so do bakeries, so do fish shops. They focus on, on products which they sell. Mm -hmm. We sell meat. We better do it the best or we don't do it at all. Right. You can't be good at a thousand things. You can be good in only a few things and make it only better every time. And um, quality, uh, consistency, and uh, taste, smell, um, that's always was a critical point for me, how you can tell when it's good stuff. Um, yes, you will pay a little bit more. You will pay, uh, the difference actually, if you think about it, it's, 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 it's minimal. And we're talking about a few dollars here and there. Yeah. But the quality which you get and the, and the feelings which you get. Uh, I'm, I, I'm a big fan of cars, so how would compare it? You go to the grocery stores and you buy an, uh, um, a Suzuki. And you go to the butcher store and you buy a BMW. Or Mercedes-Benz, or Rolls-Royce. You know, some guys are... A big Bentley guys, right? Yeah. Or Ferrari, or uh, let's call it the brand. It's the same thing in, in meat industry. Uh, absolutely the same. You you go to the butcher because you want it better. You go to the baker because you want a better bread. You you go to the farm and you go to the farmer's market because you want the vegetables which have been grown up yeah. um, naturally from people's hands. That's what you do. And that's, um, that's what makes us different. And that's what we want to keep up with. All right, guys, that was Victor from Full Basket giving us the tour, showing us some tips. Uh, if you are looking for a great butcher shop, you should definitely check these guys out and talk to Victor. He's got tons of tips. Check them out. Awesome shop. All right. See you guys next time.